Greetings my people, it's Mr. PDT yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. Again I'm joined with Mr. Brilliant Pongo in the building. The purpose of this video, I just uh, watched a short snippet of a video of one of the members of parliament in Zimbabwe who was raising an alarm and a concern to the government about a babalao from Nigeria that is visiting the nation of Zimbabwe. Before we get into it, before we get into the discussion, I want you to watch what the member of parliament, Temba Muliskwa, had to say about this particular gentleman called Chris Okafo. Most of you know him as a false prophet. Most of you know him as someone who fakes miracles. That is trend. He's well known for that. So before I allow Mr. P to introduce himself or to get on board, let's watch. What Temba Mliskwa said is a member of parliament, a very vocal one. And I'm glad when we start having members of parliament raising such kind of awarenesses to the government. Check this video out quickly and then we analyze it. This member of speakers pertaining to false prophets that come to this country after they've done <laughs> a research in terms of prophecy. They go and talk to families and they make you believe that what they're saying is true. And they take money from our people, yet it's so difficult. In particular, the one called Prophet Chris Okafor from Nigeria, who has been banned in South Africa, has been banned in Namibia, and is coming to Zimbabwe. And he also prophesied in 2015 that the former late president, President Mugabe, would die. Indeed, everybody dies, but he then died in 2019. So you can see what they, is an agenda. Why, what policy has government got to vet these people before they come to this country? And they also come to think, to think loan their money. Don't we have enough uh, prophets in this country? We have Prophet Magai, mm -hmm. Prophet Makandiwa, yeah. we've got churches you and you. so forth. Are we short so of faith prophets. as a nation to be able to import faith into this country? Are we not a God-fearing country? Why are we allowing prophets to come to this country and milk money from our people? So I'd like the minister to spend to uh, prophet Chris Okafor from Nigeria, who's coming. He was banned from South Africa. And it would be worth them investigating him before he comes in. There needs to be a panel of people or men of God who are able to vet these people because it's not good for the country for after these false prophets who come and uh, perform a uh, prophecy which they would have done research before they come here. May the Minister of Justice, uh, who is the leader of government business, respond to the policy on government on such people. Thank you. Speaker, I want to thank the Honourable Member for such an interesting question uh, regarding prophets uh, who come from other countries to them being very intelligent people who <laughs> do researches on how we live as a people and then they will come and exactly say how we are uh, surviving here and make false predictions. Uh, I, I'm saying it's an interesting question because we have a legal lacuna to deal with such people in the country. And admittedly, I think we need to, to, to have a look at it and have a policy because some of the prophecies they cause alarming despondence in the country. And, and uh, eventually. Yes, my people, as we welcome Mr. Brilliant. Mr. Brilliant, first of all, what do you think about what Temba Meliskwa said about vetting Chris Okafo, the witch doctor of Nigeria? Zimbabwe is uh, a country with very wise people uh -huh. and we have enough of these uh, fake prophets in our land. Uh -huh. We have enough of that. We don't need any more. We don't need to import this. In fact, we have enough, enough for us to even export. <laughs> we don't need them coming in. So this uh, Babalao, uh, whatever his name is, Chris Okofo. Chris Okofo. We don't need um, our government. I, I agree with what uh, mm. Temba Mliswa. In, in this fact, in this case, mm -hmm. I'm going to call him Honorable. Honorable. Honorable Temba Mliswa. Honorable Mliswa, if you're watching this, I salute, salute you. Salute you. <laughs> we salute because you, we sir. need to have more discussions 
-hmm. more talks on this. But we don't need to have a panel to vet these people because it's a waste of our resources vetting such. We don't need to vet. It's like saying, let's go to the sewage and, mm -hmm. and, and try and vet which pool is better. This is oh. poop. It yet should be flushed away. We don't need this in our country. We don't need Crystal Coffee there. He's mm -hmm. calling it the the uh, what did he call it? What did he call it? the mighty the invasion? Mighty invasion. So before you mighty even get into the mighty oh mighty mighty, yeah, mighty visit, visitation mighty visitation before mighty you even mighty. critique the theme of the invasion, yeah. you were talking about the panel. Yeah. Because that's what Temba Mlisko was saying, that but, the government should have a panel to vet these people. Mr. Honorable Temba Mlisko. Let's correct him there. The problem and the danger yes. of having a panel to vet these people. Because that panel will have religious people. That panel will have people from Makandiwa's church, leaders and elders. Let me stop you. And, mm -hmm. We don't need... A panel. We are the panel. We are the courts. We are the system <laughs> that will vet this. We are, we are the judges now. and the jury. We are the army. We are the police. We are everything. We are, everything. We we are, are now reaching you. a verdict. We are telling yes. you. The government of Zimbabwe. For free. We'll do this for free. For free. Don't, we don't charge you. This guy is already banned elsewhere. Uh, Chris Okafo is not allowed here mm -hmm. in South Africa. He has been banned. Banned. Ta, he can't cross the borders of South Africa. Yeah. Because of his conduct and his lies, manipulations, and extortions, Chris Okafo has been accused several times of manipulating young ladies this is the into bed. Guy. This is the same guy that had that uh, woman that pretended that they Exactly. Was, then the one that he hired. Yeah. So we can't have this. We can't have Chris Okafo coming into Zimbabwe, hiring people. Mm -hmm to try and hoodwink our people to thinking that God is speaking through Chris Okoff. Never. If okay. God wants to speak to someone in Zimbabwe, we have a lot in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. We have the, what's his name? The Heavenly Army Commander. Mudungwe. He's resident in Zimbabwe. He's even better than Chris yeah. Okoff. Madu, is it Madungwe? Madungwe. Yeah. Madungwe is not a good one. He's 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 not a good one. Madungwe is not a good one. Madungwe say something. Say something. Dimi, 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 Heavenly Army Commander. My daughter watch Garone one was here. Lenganga, it's one of the Chris Okafo, Shubaba, Shubundurish. One of Chris Okafo coming to Zim for what? We are setting, we are making a ruling right now. The ruling right now. This guy should be banned from Zimbabwe. We do not need these Okafos. Go back to Nigeria. The same way he has been banned in Namibia, the same way he has been banned in Botswana, he must never be allowed to come to Zimbabwe. For what? Don't we have enough false prophets in Zimbabwe? Makandiwa is there. He's woodworking masses. Mm -hmm. Walter Magaya, is a, a babalao, a traditional doctor. He's right there. Is he not manipulating poor masses in Zimbabwe? Aren't we, haven't we had enough of these goongsters that call themselves prophets to a point whereby we need to import a, a native doctor? This one, this one, I don't even know what to say about what, what Okavo. Is, Who can is, he deliver? What is he coming to do in Zimbabwe? What does he see? There's a scripture of this. Uh -huh. That's say, you know when you have a moat in your eye, uh -huh. if I have a moat in my eye, a speck in my eye, yeah. and you have a log in your own eye, uh -huh. and you're trying to tell me about what's in my eye, mm -hmm. Chris Okoff, this is personal now, very personal. your very own eye <laughs> cannot see, you haven't healed your own eye, you're trying to come and heal a whole nation of Zimbabwe. <laughs> Ah, stay away. So stay before you away. come and try to heal people in Zimbabwe, no, Okafo, no, come no, and no. go and heal your own self. Heal go yourself. and remove the log in, in your own eye <laughs> first before you come and you can't see nothing in Zimbabwe. <laughs> we are see, we've seen you before you even moved. We've seen what you are trying to do. You can't come and try and do research in Zimbabwe and try and figure out what our people. We are suffering enough. Our masses have suffered enough in Zimbabwe. No, that's we very cannot, true. We cannot have this. We cannot no, we can't. Okay, for no. my brother, think twice, man. Whatever. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. You are Stay fine. fine Ni Nigerians are. are okay with they you. Are, they are happy with you. Nigerians love you. They, love they appreciate you. you. Mm -hmm. Stay Zimbabwe. there. Not Zimbabwe. They come there. The only thing that they are looking for is who to sleep with and who to take money from. This that will be their agenda. There's guy. nothing else. How can you get a whole plane to come to Zimbabwe, Chris mm -hmm. Okof? For what? What exactly are what you going to you tell us? What can you do? What do we not already know about prophecy in Zimbabwe? Of all the prophecies he has given, they've all gone offside. All yeah. the healing that he has done on the screen, yeah, all number fake. one, number one prophecy that went that went wrong with you. What you said about Robert Mugabe, which mm -hmm. Honorable Temba Mlisko mentioned, mentioned he yeah, that he up. did. He gave a prophecy that Robert Mugabe is going to die. Already, we knew the man was ninety. 
four at the time. We knew that his, his days are numbered. You are telling us that that's a prophecy. We already knew that. Your prophecy was not a prophecy. Mm. All I can say about Okafo is Okafo is a disgrace. He's a humiliation. Okafo stands for everything that church of the church of God does not want to be associated with. He has nothing of God. He has nothing from God. Okafo is a certified native doctor. He has no spirit of the Holy Spirit. He operates with his carnality and is part of some of the Nigerian cults. So my Zimbabwean people, be on high alert. Do we not accept not allow, this voucher. We allow this satanism to be brought into our country with mm -hmm. our eyes wide open. We are the citizens, my people. We have to fight for our, the sovereign of our nations. Mm -hmm. Allowing these parasites and these cancerous entities to invade we call in our nations old is bad. We call upon all Zimbabweans to find out where this is going to be. Mm -hmm. Invade that place. Invade that place. We cannot allow for this because these people mm -hmm. are coming to cause alarm and despondency in our country by giving false prophecies, mm -hmm. by taking monies that are hard worked for people are working hard in Zimbabwe to come up with this. You cannot manipulate our people while we watch. Do you know what's gonna happen? Let me let me give you a prophecy. I'm not a prophet, but I'm going to prophesy. Before Chris Okafo comes to Zimbabwe, do you know what he's going to do? He's going to try to sweet talk the government. He's going to try to sweet talk the president of Zimbabwe. Ask me how. He is going to give a prophecy in any one of these coming Sunday services declaring that President Emerson Mnangagwa is going to be the president That's not a in the upcoming elections. That's not a prophecy. It's a, it's, it's a foregone conclusion. We all know that he did that fair. He is winning. Fair. Are we now? So, Mr. President, let me also you know, put in a good word for you, Mr. President. Do not allow these vouchers. If you need proper people to support you, Mr. President, we can organize proper people with integrity. I know as a politician, any president would want to be associated with someone who has a good following. That's strategic. When I see the president in Manuel Makandiwa's church, I'm not worried about that. He's smart, he's calculative, he wants the numbers. So any wise politician, go where the numbers are. When the president go to churches, it's because they want to get numbers. But now I'm telling to the presidents or other presidents of other African nations, you do not need endorsements from these cancerous entities calling themselves prophets and pastors. They are well off better people. Mr. PDT is here. We can raise, blow the horn and say, Edipe. And you can get very better numbers of people than these ones that come with these vouchers. I will speak in Shona here. My post to Kwa Johan, Rariko. Kwa Masha, Rariko. Saka, what do we need? Why do we need this, 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 this babalao? This babalao is for what? The only thing that they will come and do is to sleep with our girl child. With the wives, with the wives of other not guys that will visit this shrine. When you say sleep, you are making it very mild. Mm. They are coming to abuse. Abuse, proper. Our people. We should not allow this abuse. Chris Okofu, do not get your passport stamped. <laughs> do not get your passport stamped to leave Nigeria. Because when you get to Zimbabwe, you are going to see that Zimbabwe is not a playground for you to come and do your, your, your witchcraft and your magic. So on their script, on his script right now, he's planning a, a prophecy that he'll give in church that the coming president, I see the president of Zimbabwe, is going to be with Emerson Munangagwa. With which eye? With which eye? <laughs> with which eye are you seeing? Yeah, before he gives that prophecy, listen to the government of Zimbabwe, listen to this. He previously gave a prophecy in his own country. He said Peter Obi was going to be the president. He got it wrong. He got it wrong. Wrong. Anything that comes from this guy's mouth is messed up. It's a lie. It's all a lie. Ati jidi, ati jidi, ati jidi. Go away. Mkuro nji kaka di wano kawatu wa kemari, not ni nzire za kadai zo. Would not allow such, 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 such sekas. A sekas. If you would come in there saying, not, not, the mighty what? Mighty invasion. Mighty invasion. Mighty visitation. Oh, it's mighty visitation. Mighty visitation. Oh, by who? By Okafo. Okafo is what? What's mighty what's about mighty Okafo? About what, what's mighty about him? Ah. He's a mighty joke. If you had just said mighty joke, mighty circus, mighty performance, or uh, whatever <laughs> it is, we're going to allow you to come into your circus, your show, 
if you are a clown, if you are a comedian, you mm. can come. We allow Nigerian comedians. We're not against Nigeria. Yeah, we Nigerians. love Nigerians. Come no, on. We love Most them. of my brothers here in South Africa are Nigerians. They're Niger them. brothers. But when it comes to these Babalaos, we will not allow because we've seen enough suffering for our people. These we are cruel, allow. my brother. They are heartless, mm. these people that we're talking about. These prophets. Mm. These are your Okafos. Let's on this platform, I probably have, if not five, testimonials from young ladies who were manipulated sexually by Chris Okafo, who were abused by Chris Okafo. And we allow such a parasite to come and uh, invade. Parliament spoke today. Uh -huh. It was raised, the question was raised uh, as to uh, setting up a panel. We are offering our services, services for free. For free. We are going to be the panel. We are the panel. To vet Chris Okafo. Yeah. Especially for these for this Babalawas. Uh, for these Babalawas, we are opening a ministry specifically designated to make sure what comes in Zimbabwe, or what comes in South Africa, or what comes in other African nations. We need that panel in each and every government. Mm. And we are going to be the heads so of that panel. So-called prophets. Does he call himself pastor? He calls himself prophet. prophet. My doctor. He even calls himself a doctor. A doctor of what? What thesis? From what thesis? At mm. what academic institution did Chris Okafo go for him to be called a doctor? Which doctor? Oh, he's a witch doctor. Yeah, witch doctor. Kara Zinata, we are here. We are here. Ah, we are here. You go Zinata. Some guy you want to tell? Don't you tell some from now? Ah, no, we can't. Can't allow this nonsense. That's all there is about Okafo, my people. Please, Zimbabwe is be on higher alert. Do not be fooled. Okafo is not of God. Okafo is an agent of we're darkness. He's coming from, you know, a foreign world with foreign gods. We are tired. And my sisters, before you go there, please make sure. Not, let me not advise my sister. Let me advise my brothers or my married brothers. Don't let your wives go mm. or your daughters go to gather where Okafo is. Mm. You will regret it. You will regret it. Do not say we did not warn you. Allowing people to go and follow Okafo, just allowing people to go and fellowship under Walter Magaya, if you know what I mean. And with that being said, we'll check you out, my people, on the next episode. Of the Illatomy series. Enough we are of out. these rapists. Enough.